the next page. This is Jesus on mission. Here's the deal. We get in the boat, and when they're looking at this, Jesus is loving this boat experience with his father. Um, in this picture, you have a son that's enjoying that. The father's enjoying that. And we're learning to live into our life with Jesus, and we're going out from the table. We're going into the boat. We're on mission. Here's, here's the thing. That should bring us joy. And this is the way Jesus talked about it. So these are actually the words of Jesus saying this is why he came to earth. So get your pens ready and write these down. I'm going to go quick. Okay? This is just through the Gospel of John and 1 John. So the same guy is writing them all. This is what he says about Jesus. He said, Jesus said this. Number one, to reveal God's glory. To reveal God's glory. That's Jesus' mission. He said that. My, my goal is to reveal God's glory. Next one, to save the world. That's a big mission, to save the world. Next, to do God's will. That's like, it, listen, I don't say things unless my father says it. I don't do it unless I see him doing it first. That's Jesus' thing. Next one, to clarify judgment. Jesus says something really weird. It's, you're not going to be judged on this good thing or that good thing or that bad thing. or this. It's this simple. Did you believe in him or not? He's clarifying judgment for us. Those that believe in him and those that don't. Those that receive him and those that don't. Not based on your goodness, based on his. Do you receive it or not? Next one, to give us abundant life. That was Jesus' mission. From the heart of God, to give humans abundant life. Next one, to save us by giving his life. He wants to give us abundant life, but what? He wants to save us by giving his life. Next one, to bring light to darkness. To bring light to darkness. Next one, to send us the Holy Spirit. That's one of his main goals, that we would have God with us and in us to reveal the truth about God to us. Next one, to take away excuses. Jesus said one of his missions was to make it so clear about who he is and what he's doing that you wouldn't have any more excuses, whether you reject him or receive him. That's interesting. Next one, to speak truth. To speak truth. Jesus just says, I am the truth. So guess what he speaks? Truth. Next one, to take away sins. To take away sins. That's such a beautiful thing. It's that picture of the scapegoat. They are just gone. Jesus is taking those away. Next one, to destroy the works of the devil. That is where Jesse had that prayer a couple weeks ago about give it, God give us a militant spirit to fight fiercely in prayer. And to, and to go, that's, that's interesting. That's how Jesus approaches. He's tender. He's compassionate. But when it comes to spiritual issues, he's on a mission. He's like, you know what, Satan, you're done. And he, and, he, and he literally strips all authority from Satan. And then he starts to do what? He starts to unravel the mess that Satan's made on this earth. And he starts to make it beautiful again. So that's the picture at your tables. I just want you to really quickly talk about this. What stands out, as you look at the mission of Jesus, what stands out to you this? Is there any statements that are particularly encouraging to you or maybe some that might be confusing to you?